Back to you, Craig. Just like magic. It's time to talk about iPad OS. iPad is an incredibly versatile device with its unique blend of mobility, innovative technologies, and touch-first user experience. And this experience is powered by iPad OS. With iPad OS, we build distinct capabilities that make it possible for iPad to become whatever you need it to be. Like when you're browsing your photos, an iPad becomes an album of your most precious memories held right in your hands. Or when you pick up Apple Pencil and it becomes your notepad, a markup tool, or a canvas for new artwork. Or when you attach a keyboard and trackpad and it becomes a powerful way to work on your most important documents. This unique set of capabilities mean that you can get things done right in the moment and can seamlessly move from capturing and working on your ideas to sharing them. With iPadOS 15, we're taking this versatility further, making iPad even more capable and more intuitive. And we started right on the home screen with widgets. They offer beautiful, glanceable information at just the right moments. And this year, we have a big update. Now you can place widgets among the apps on your home screen. This is a huge deal. Let me show you how it works. Okay, here I am on the home screen. You can see that I already have a few widgets placed along the top. Let's start by adding a widget. I'll bring up the widget gallery. Here, you'll notice some new widgets, like the beautiful new Find My widget and the Contacts widget, which helps you reach family and friends with just a tap. Let's find a good spot for this towards the top here. Now, I'll go back to the gallery and grab the Parcel widget for tracking my incoming packages right on the home screen. Perfect. Now, of course, a bigger canvas means more room for widgets. So we're adding a new larger format for widgets designed just for iPad's larger display. Here's the new Apple TV widget. I can easily dive into my favorite shows with a tab. And here's my gaming page. The new Game Center widget lets me jump into my games faster and discover what to play with friends. And check out the new large size photo widget. It really puts my favorite photos front and center. And with this larger files widget, I can keep tabs on all my work projects. Now with pages full of these great widgets, some of my less frequently used apps have gotten pushed to later pages. We wanted to make it easier to get to all of your apps, so we've brought App Library to iPad. You can see all my apps are here, automatically categorized for me. And what's really cool is we built access to App Library right into the dock. So no matter where you are, you can always get to your apps. And now that you have App Library, you can hide pages that you no longer need. Just like this. And even reorder them right from here. That's widgets and app library. We think this is going to change how you get information and access all your... We also have a major update for another key part of the iPadOS experience, multitasking. This year, we've made it easier to discover, easier to use, and even more powerful. To give you a closer look, here's Shabam. Thanks, Craig. In iPadOS 15, there's a new control that appears at the top of your apps. Tapping on it reveals the multitasking menu. From here, I can take an app full screen or work with two apps at the same time by creating a split view or slide over. I'll tap on the split view icon and the app slides to the edge of the screen, giving me quick access to my home screen where I can select from any of my apps. I've been working on a podcast, so I'll choose Ferrite. And now I can work with Ferrite and Notes at the same time in split view. It's also really easy to switch apps in split view. If I want to replace Ferrite, I can swipe down and Notes moves aside, letting me pick another app from the home screen. Let's select Mail. This works exactly the same way to choose a new app for either side of the screen. And we brought the same ease of multitasking to apps with multiple windows. In touch and hold on this message to open it centered on my screen. This allows me to read the entire email without leaving my current view. And I have the same multitasking controls here too. 
so I can easily move this into split view or slide over. But I want to save this email and come back to it later. So I can just swipe down to minimize it into a new area we're calling the shelf. The shelf gives me easy access to all open windows of an app. Let's go to Safari, and you'll see that the shelf appears automatically when I switch apps. I often have a lot of Safari windows open, many in split view paired with other apps. And now I can just tap to quickly switch between them. I can also add or remove windows right here from the shelf. And we've made the app switcher even more powerful. I can now create a split view just by dragging one app over another. So that's multitasking in iPadOS 15. Now, back to you, Craig. Thanks, Shabam. These new multitasking features will help our users be more productive and do even more on their iPad. And what's really cool is we now have a new set of keyboard shortcuts that let you do all of this without lifting a finger. iPadOS 15 also gives you more powerful ways to capture and organize your information with notes. This year, we're adding powerful new features for collaboration and organization. First, we're adding mentions. Just mention someone in a shared note and they'll get a notification linking them back. There's also an all new activity view that quickly shows you what's changed in a shared note while you were away. And to give users new ways to organize their notes, we're adding tags. You can add a tag anywhere in your note and then use the tag browser to quickly find your notes. But sometimes you just wanna quickly jot down a note to remember something important for later. And that's why we're taking notes system-wide with a feature we call Quick Note. Quick Note is a fast and easy way to get to a note no matter what you're doing. Here's Will to show you how it works. Thanks, Craig. Starting a Quick Note is easy. When I swipe, the note appears out of the corner of the screen. Now that I've started a note, I can type or I can write with Apple Pencil. It's perfect for jotting down something like a phone number. And when I'm done, I just swipe it away. Let's open Safari. What's super cool about QuickNote is that it's aware of the app I'm using. I'll start a new QuickNote for Safari. And now I can easily add a link from the website into my QuickNote. I can tap this link anytime to return to this exact site. Let's go to a website I added a link to earlier. A small thumbnail pops up in the corner that allows me to quickly get back to my quick note containing any useful information I found. You'll notice there's text highlighted on the page. I added this text to my quick note and tapping on a link from a highlight takes me right to the content on the page. I can add a link from almost any app I'm using, including third-party apps. Here's a link from Yelp. And if I tap, it takes me right to the restaurant listing. I can swipe across my quick note to see my most recent ones. And anytime I want to see all my quick notes, I can find them right where you'd expect in notes. Now back to Craig. Thanks, Will. So that's Quick Note, a new way to capture information anywhere. Quick Notes can be created on iPadOS and macOS, and you can access and edit them later on iOS. Now, let's talk about Translate. In just one year, Translate has already helped users make billions of translations on iOS. So we're excited to bring Translate to iPad with experiences that leverage iPad's unique capabilities, like practicing handwriting in another language with Apple Pencil, or translating right next to your document with Split View. And Translate was designed for conversations so we're making conversations feel easier and even more natural with auto-translate. Auto-translate detects when you're speaking and in which language, so no one needs to tap a button to respond. Just speak and let translate do the rest. We're also excited to announce system-wide translation, so you can translate text anywhere. Just select the text and tap translate. With live text, you can even translate text in a photo. System-wide translation is available on iPadOS, iOS, and macOS. And of course, you can download languages to use all of these features on device. Whether you're working on a document or meeting with someone, Translate makes iPad even more powerful. Now, let's talk about Swift.